I am Ms. V. Sandhya, Assistant Professor of BVOC Marine Food Processing and Preservation Technology, ADM College for Women, Autonomous, Nakapatina. Today, let's see about quality control in the production of sun dried fish. First, we see objectives. Dried fish, drying is a method of food preservation. It works by removing water from the food, which inhibit the growth of microorganisms and hinders quality decay. Using sun and wind to prevent spoilage has been practiced since ancient time and was the earliest form of fish curing. A central concern of fish processing is to prevent fish from deteriorating. And this remains on underlying concern during other processing operations. Fish processing can be subdivided into fish handling which is the prelim uh, preliminary processing of raw fish and the manufacture of fish product. The introduction. Drying involves removal of water content from the fish body. In sun drying, this process is carried out by exposing target fish directly under the sun. This is usually done in the open air using solar energy to evaporate the water content in the fish. Natural air carried away the evaporated water from fish body. Normally, the term drying implies the removal of water by ev evaporation, but water can be remo removed by other methods. For example, the action, o action of uh, salt and the application of pressure will remove water from fish. Since water is essential for the activity of all living organisms, its removal will slow down or stop microbiological or autolytic activity that and can thus be used as a method of preservation. Dried fish. The oldest traditional way of preserving fish was to let the wind and sun dry it. Drying is the world oldest noun preservation method. Fish are preserved through such traditional methods as drying, smoking and salting. The oldest traditional way of preserving fish was uh, to let the wind and sun dry it. Drying food is the world oldest noun preser preservation method and dried fish has a storage life of several years. The method is cheap and effective in suitable climates. The work can be done by the fisherman and family and the resulting product is easily transported to the market. This is uh, dried fish images. Next one is uh, principle of sun drying. Traditional sun drying is uh, carried out in the open air using the energy of the sun to evaporate the water and air current to carry away the vapor. Low humidity uh, facilitates evaporation. However, during initial uh, stage of drying, Evaporated vapor uh, makes the surrounding environment humid. Therefore, strong air flow is uh, needed to carry away the vapor rapidly. Theoretically, moisture content of the final product should be reduced to less than 15 to 16 percent. Where most of the microbiological and enzymatic activities are slowed down or stopped. This is the process of uh, drying of fish. In practice, however, water content is not reduced to this uh, theoretical 15 to 16 percent. It commercial processing water content is often higher when storage time are short. Where salt is used in the processing and where consumers prefer on intermediate moisture product. Local consumers generally prefer unsalted product. To increase the storage life of such product, insecticides are used. Moisture content of unsalted product ranges from 18 to 23 percentage, while those of semi-salted or salted product ranges between 25 to 30 percent. Salt accelerates the drying process by rapid removal of water from the body. During Drying, substantial shrinkage and other irrever irreversible changes take place. Therefore, dried fish cannot be reconstituted. 
methods of drying natural drying in sun is totally weather dependent and is carried out by placing the product on the ground mat or racks in sun and release on air circulation to evaporate and remove moisture this is the most common method followed by fisherman if placed on the ground either directly or indirectly solar energy supply takes place both directly and also through the heated ground floor once drying enter into falling rate period temperature of ground plays on important part as it uh, supplies the energy for diffusion movement of water from the interior to the surface different ways to increase the drying rate of fish with or without prior salting they are black platform solar dryer solar tent dryer black platform in this method a raised cemented platform was covered with a low density black polythene sheet and non peneed prawns were dried on the same the rise in temperature on black polythene covered surface was between 17 and 25 degrees celsius above ambient temperature which was between 30 and 35 degrees celsius after 6 hours the moisture levels of materials on black polythene surface were 6.2 percent is uh, solar dryer in a solar dryer heat radiation from the sun is trapped by conduction process through the use of different simple devices such as black net ca sheets which raise the temperature of air on electrically run centrifugal air blower blows above hot air into driving uh, drying tunnel containing fish to be dried the air current velocity is kept at 120 m per minutes for maximum efficiency this image is uh, solar dryer next one is uh, solar tent dryer in the solar tent dryers solar radiation is allowed to pass through a clear surface which may be transparent glass or polythene sheet and is absorbed by the black surface of the floor and the back of the dryer the black surface has the its temperature rise there and this is tan rises the temperature of air inside the tent so quality control in the production of sun dried fish the nutritional quality and the shelf life of salted and sun dried fishes of tipicorin coastal villages were assessed seasonally the quality parameters varied with the seasons and it was supported during monsoon seasons the spoilage indicators TMGN and TVB of the dried fish uh, sample did not exceed the permissible limit during monsoon season the dried fish showed visible fungal growth within one month of storage during the second month of the post monsoon period dried fish showed slight visible fungal growth in summer season no visible fungal colonies even after 90 days of storage were recorded during the storage period dried fishes absorbed moisture from the atmosphere which resulted in the increase of microbial load and in turn led to the increase of tvb value the poor quality of dried fishes were mainly due to unhygienic processing inadequate salting and hygienic drying use of spoiled fish for processing and lack of air tight packaging of the dried fishes